When it comes to pioneering stealth technology, the United States has consistently been at the cutting edge. Ever wondered if the US has truly led the way in technological advancements? The answer is a resounding yes. For over a decade, the US Air Force has been at the forefront of developing weapons that push the boundaries of innovation and stealth. But what does it really mean for an aircraft to be stealthy? And does the US have any game-changing weapons equipped with this revolutionary feature? Stealth technology isn't just a buzzword, it's a critical game-changer in modern warfare, designed to make aircraft nearly invisible to radar and detection systems. So, how does this high-tech magic actually work? And more importantly, what are the US military's most advanced stealth weapons that are currently under wraps? In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of stealth technology, unraveling the secrets behind its operational brilliance and revealing the state-of-the-art weapons that the US Air Force is using to stay ahead of the curve. Buckle up as we explore the intricate mechanics of stealth and its impact on the future of aerial combat. Origins of Modern Stealth The concept of stealth, or low observable technology, is nothing short of a game-changer. It's a blend of military tactics and electronic countermeasures designed to make an aircraft, ship, or missile virtually invisible to radar, infrared, and other detection methods. By the late 1950s, the United States recognized the urgent need to outmaneuver Soviet radar systems, a realization that set the stage for the birth of modern stealth technology. The aim? To craft weapons capable of infiltrating enemy defenses without detection, an ambition that would eventually give rise to a whole new era of warfare. Stealth technology's journey began with the United States' failed attempts to keep its U-2 spy planes hidden from Soviet radar in 1958. To overcome this, engineers began experimenting with shaping aircraft in ways that would deflect radar waves, minimizing detection. They also tested radiation-absorbent materials to further reduce radar signatures. This pioneering work laid the foundation for the stealth technology that we now see in some of the world's most advanced aircraft, such as the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit Bomber and, of course, the F-117 Nighthawk. The F-117 Nighthawk, often shrouded in mystery, represents a landmark achievement in stealth technology. Conceived in secrecy by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Division, the Nighthawk was the first aircraft designed from the ground up with stealth in mind. Its unique design, based on the principles of radar wave deflection, allowed it to slip past enemy defenses with ease. Despite the United States Air Force's efforts to keep the existence of this groundbreaking fighter under wraps, public fascination only grew, culminating in the aircraft's official unveiling in 1988, seven years after its first classified flight. The secret to the F-117 stealth capabilities lies in its unconventional design. Inspired by a 1964 Soviet study on radar wave diffraction, Lockheed engineers realized that by shaping an aircraft with flat, angular surfaces, they could effectively redirect radar waves away from enemy sensors. The Nighthawk's design was further enhanced with radar-absorbing materials and specially formulated paints, creating an aircraft that was nearly invisible to radar detection. This radical departure from traditional aerodynamic designs came at a cost, however, as the F-117 sacrificed speed and agility in favor of stealth. The F-117's development was a direct response to the growing threat posed by Soviet surface-to-air missiles in the 1970s. After years of top-secret testing, the first production models were delivered to the U.S. Air Force in 1982, with the aircraft reaching full operational capability the following year. While its subsonic speed and lack of afterburners limited its performance in traditional air combat, the Nighthawk excelled in its role as a stealth bomber. With a radar cross-section of just 0.01 square meters, the F-117 could approach and strike targets with near impunity, making it one of the most formidable weapons in the U.S. arsenal. Despite its groundbreaking stealth capabilities, the F-117 was far from perfect. 
Its flat surfaces, designed to deflect radar waves, made it notoriously difficult to fly, earning it the nickname Wobbly Goblin among test pilots. The aircraft's radar-absorbing materials were also cumbersome, adding nearly a ton of weight and requiring meticulous maintenance to remain effective. But these limitations were a small price to pay for the Nighthawk's ability to strike without warning, a capability that would prove invaluable during its combat deployments. The F-117 Nighthawk's legacy is one of innovation and transformation. Its stealth capabilities redefined air combat and set a new standard for future aircraft designs. Perhaps its most famous deployment was during the Gulf War in 1991, where it played a crucial role in crippling Iraq's military infrastructure with pinpoint precision. The Nighthawk's success demonstrated the immense power of stealth technology, solidifying its place as a cornerstone of modern military strategy. While the F-117 has since been retired, its influence can still be seen in today's advanced stealth fighters, ensuring that the lessons learned from this pioneering aircraft will continue to shape the future of warfare for years to come. The Stealth Enigma of the B-2 Spirit The B-2 Spirit, better known as the Stealth Bomber, is not just any aircraft. It's a strategic heavy bomber designed to carry out missions that others can only dream of, missions that involve slipping undetected into enemy airspace and delivering devastating payloads. Developed by Northrop Grumman between 1987 and 2000, this bomber was purpose-built to outmaneuver and outgun any air defense system in existence. Whether it's dropping conventional bombs or unleashing thermonuclear destruction, the B-2 is a weapon of unparalleled power and stealth. But what makes the B-2 truly extraordinary is its ability to remain invisible, both to the naked eye and to the most advanced radar systems. It's all about stealth, a capability that hinges on reducing every possible signature, acoustic, infrared, visual, and radar. This is why the B-2 can slip past defenses undetected, striking heavily fortified targets with precision and leaving adversaries scrambling in the dark. The B-2's stealth doesn't just rely on its advanced design. It's also a product of meticulous attention to detail. To minimize optical visibility during daylight operations, the bomber is coated with anti-reflective paint. The undersides of the B-2 are painted dark gray, blending seamlessly with the high-altitude sky. And here's where it gets even more fascinating. The aircraft is speculated to have an upward-facing light sensor that automatically adjusts its altitude to match the changing brightness of the sky, an almost chameleon-like ability to disappear into its surroundings. The B-2's radar invisibility is no accident either. Its unique shape, resembling an infinite flat plate, ensures that radar waves are deflected away from detection. Unlike other aircraft with vertical surfaces that can easily be picked up by radar, the B-2's design minimizes angles that could reflect radar signals. While some low-frequency radars might still catch a glimpse, the B-2's stealth capabilities are miles ahead of anything else in the skies. This stealth technology didn't appear overnight. The B-2's development was the culmination of decades of innovation, starting with the F-117 Nighthawk, which used flat surfaces to control radar returns. But the B-2 took this to the next level. With the advent of advanced computational fluid dynamics in the 1980s, Northrop Grumman was able to design a bomber with curved surfaces that further deflected radar beams, a technique known as continuous curvature. This, combined with radar-absorbent materials, turned the B-2 into a near-invisible predator. Speaking of materials, the B-2's airframe is primarily made from carbon graphite composites, stronger than steel, lighter than aluminum, and incredibly effective at absorbing radar energy. These materials, coupled with cutting-edge engineering tolerances, ensure that the B-2 leaks nothing that could give away its position. Northrop Grumman even developed alternate high-frequency materials and automated application methods to enhance the B-2's radar-absorbent properties reducing maintenance and keeping this beast ready for action. Every B-2 Spirit is housed in a $5 million, climate-controlled hangar 
essential for maintaining its stealth coatings. These specialized shelters, known as B-2 shelter systems, can be deployed worldwide, ensuring the B-2 remains in peak operational condition no matter where it's stationed. From Diego Garcia to RAF Fairford, these hangars are crucial to preserving the bomber's cutting-edge capabilities. In its original Cold War era role, the B-2 was designed for deep penetration nuclear strike missions, relying on its stealth to avoid detection and interception. With two internal bomb bays capable of carrying 40,000 pounds of ordnance, the B-2 can unleash a devastating array of nuclear and conventional weapons. But as the geopolitical landscape shifted, so did the B-2's mission profile. Today, it's equipped with a sophisticated GPS-aided targeting system, allowing it to execute precision strikes with unmatched accuracy. Whether armed with JDAMs or other guided munitions, the B-2 Spirit remains the ultimate symbol of stealth and strategic power. Stealth no more. The world's first stealth fighter, the F-117 Nighthawk, was supposed to be untouchable. A marvel of modern warfare, it was designed to infiltrate enemy airspace undetected, invincible to radar and impervious to missile attacks. But in 1999, all that changed. A relic of Soviet-era technology, the S-125 missile system, brought this seemingly invincible aircraft crashing down to Earth. How did an outdated weapon system outsmart the pinnacle of American military engineering? The truth is both shocking and controversial, and it raises serious questions about the true effectiveness of stealth technology. In a daring and ingenious move, Colonel Zoltan Dani of the 250th Air Missile Defense Brigade used a low bandwidth radar to track the Nighthawk. Unlike modern radars, which the F-117 was designed to evade, this older, simpler system had just enough resolution to pick up a faint signal. Timing was everything. When the Nighthawk was vulnerable, the low-band radar signaled the activation of a higher bandwidth radar, locking on to the target just long enough to launch the missile. But Danny didn't stop there. Knowing that the Nighthawk wasn't invisible to the naked eye, he deployed a team of spotters, human eyes scanning the skies for any sign of the aircraft. This combination of old-school tactics and keen observation led to the unthinkable, the first and only shoot-down of a stealth fighter in combat. The pilot managed to eject safely and was later rescued, but the damage was done. The plane's relatively intact wreckage fell into enemy hands, giving both Russian and Chinese intelligence unprecedented access to America's prized technology. This incident sent shockwaves through the U.S. Air Force, the invincibility of the Nighthawk was now in question. The failure on the battlefield exposed the fighter's shortcomings, shortcomings that could no longer be ignored. The very concept of stealth, once hailed as the future of air combat, was now being scrutinized under a harsh new light. In its final years, the Nighthawk saw action in 2001 during Operation Enduring Freedom and again in 2003 during Operation Iraqi Freedom, but its days were numbered. By 2008, the world's first stealth fighter was formally retired. The Nighthawk's legacy, however, is a complex one. While it had over 20 years of service and countless successful missions, the shootdown in 1999 revealed the vulnerabilities that stealth technology could no longer hide. The retirement ceremony marked the end of an era with the Nighthawk's remaining fleet placed in flyable storage, kept in near working condition, but never again to see combat. The development of advanced missile defense systems, like the one that took down the Nighthawk, was a stark reminder that no technology is invincible. In the relentless arms race of modern warfare, yesterday's cutting-edge innovations can quickly become tomorrow's vulnerabilities. The Unstoppable Shield Since its inception, the Iron Dome has been a game-changer. Designed to intercept short-range rockets and artillery shells from 4 to 70 kilometers away, it's the shield that stands between Israeli civilians 
and the constant threat of attack. From 2011 to 2021, the United States invested a staggering $1.6 billion into this technology, with another $1 billion approved by Congress in 2022. This isn't just a defense system. It's a symbol of military innovation and international collaboration. Iron Dome became fully operational on March 27, 2011, when it was first deployed near Beersheba. Just a few days later, on April 7, 2011, it made history by successfully intercepting a rocket launched from Gaza, obliterating it before it could reach its target. This marked the beginning of a new era in air defense, where Iron Dome would prove its worth time and time again. The system's early success led to rapid deployment across southern Israel, particularly in areas like the town of Stero, which had been under constant rocket fire. On March 10, 2012, the Jerusalem Post reported that Iron Dome had intercepted 90% of missiles that would have otherwise hit populated areas. This level of effectiveness was unprecedented and solidified Iron Dome's reputation as a nearly impenetrable shield. By late 2012, Israel announced plans to further enhance Iron Dome's capabilities. The goal was to increase its interception range from 70 to 250 kilometers and enable it to handle multiple threats coming from different directions simultaneously. This ambitious upgrade would make the system even more versatile and effective, capable of countering increasingly sophisticated threats. But the success of Iron Dome didn't just stop at defense. It spurred a wave of innovation in missile and aircraft design. Developers around the world began to rethink their strategies, devising new ways to keep their weapons undetectable by systems like Iron Dome. Future fighters, like those from Lockheed Martin, would inevitably incorporate advanced guided ballistic systems and computer-aided designs to evade detection without sacrificing performance. As the Iron Dome continues to evolve, one thing is clear. It's more than just a missile defense system. It's a technological marvel that has reshaped the future of warfare. And while the system stands as a testament to Israeli ingenuity, it also serves as a warning to adversaries. The skies are no longer safe for those who seek to do harm. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there!